Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to do a really cool thing, very short, different than my other videos, and we're going to do an autocomplete. You know that Sheets has its own autocomplete function or suggestion. For example, let's say you have this list and you start writing something on the list, for example, B. Sheets automatically helps you autocomplete, but this autocomplete function is really, really bad. Because, for example, if you are here, down here, and you start writing, it doesn't get anything. Or if you start writing an M, it gets this mark, but it doesn't give me the option of getting other words in the phrase like marks. So what we're going to build without any code, just one, a couple of functions, and using the drop-down functionality, we're going to build a nice autocomplete suggestion tool that, would, for example, when I'm here and I start writing, Peter Page Markson is kind of a drop down without the annoying arrow. And if you start writing R, then you don't only have Robert Franklin, but you also have Mark Bronson. So it gets the first, the second name, and if you would have three, and you start writing a G, it will look in all of the names you have, in all the words you have. So it's much, much better and it's it works like a drop down. So it's really good when you have a list with a lot of names, with a lot of things, and you wanna make sure that if it's already written, you will write it exactly the same way and you don't have to write it all the way down. So you can use whatever you have written before. I know you love it, but before we begin, I'll invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and even further, if you want to support me even further, you can go to the Patreon page where you can download these and more than a hundred templates. Thank you to my Patreons. Let's begin. I always, always prefer to start from scratch. So we're going to open a new Google Sheets, sheets.new. I'm going to start the list. So let's say I have name and I'm going to write here Peter and then I'm going to write page. You can see that if I write P, then it'll, Sheets automatically will suggest to write Peter. So if I hit enter, then it will write Peter down. So this is a nice thing. But I'm going to write page marks. If I write B again, it doesn't say anything. I need to write another letter, E to have Peter, A to have page. And if I hit the M, I don't get the marks. On. These are some of the limitations of the autocomplete that Sheets gives us by default. The other thing is that if I go one below and I start writing a P, then it doesn't take this into account. So it has a lot of limitation. So what we're going to do is to build a really nice autocomplete or suggestion based when we have a big list based on what I have written on that list. It's pretty easy. I'm going to use drop downs and I'm going to use arrays. But there are many ways of doing this. So here will be our main data if you want. And I'm going to create. I could do it here if you want, or maybe even better is to create an auxiliary sheet. And we'll call this aux or config or list or whatever. Whatever you prefer. So the first thing I'm going to do is to copy this and paste it here. It could be on the second, on the first one. Again, we could have the names here. The second thing I'm going to do is to create a dropdown. So in this first one, I'm going to hit right click, then go to dropdown. It automatically brings me Peter because I have written Peter. So it writes it as an option in a basic dropdown, but I want to go further. So I will choose in criteria, I will choose drop down from a range. And then the range I need is the one I have here in AUX. So I will take these two, maybe even more. I'll take it five, maybe even more. I could leave it open and it should work great. So I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to remove the six, the six or any number you have and click OK. So if I go to main data, I have things I don't like. I don't like this this new design of the drop downs, and I don't want it to be a drop down, you know? I just want it to be an autocomplete. So that if I start writing Peter, 
then I have my options. And the nice thing is that if I start writing an M, it will also take Martin. So it takes not only the first word of the phrase, but all of the words. So this is a really, really nice feature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the use of this dropdown up to the last row, as we did in the range of the dropdown, leaving the second A without a row. So I'll hit done and it works nicely. And the nice thing about this is that remember that when we did our test, if I left a space, this wouldn't work in the other rows. Well, this would work in any row. Again, I could have Peter, I could have Paige Marson or whatever, or just write, start writing P or start writing M or whatever you want. So I'm going to remove this, this annoying dropdown because I don't want a dropdown. So I'm going back to my data validation and I'm going to the advanced options and I will say that this is not a chip, this is not an arrow, it's just a plain text. So it looks a bit better, I think. So again, if I start here writing P, I have the Peter and the page marks. And if I write M, I have my marks. Until now, this is working, but there are more things that we need to change. For example, what happens if I write another name, in Mark Ronson? It won't let me because the default behavior for a dropdown is that it rejects any input that is not in the dropdown. So I'm going to change this data is invalid option to show a warning. I'll hit done. And again, let's write Mark Ronson. So it's none of the options below, but it allows me with this red flag that I don't like. But for now, it will work. So what is wrong with this? That if I start writing here, P, Peter, perfect, M is just showing Markson and not Mark. Why? Because in my auxiliary, I only have Peter and I only have Paige, but I don't have the new ones, Mark, Ronson. So my the final step is to link somehow this column I'm writing with this. And this we do it with a formula. It could be an array, it could be the unique formula is a nice way also. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going here to stand in A2. I will hit, I will write equal sign or plus if you like. And I'm going to write unique. This is unique rows in the provided source range. So I'll open my parentheses and I'll start in A2. I cannot select it here. So I'm going to select B2 and with the arrows go to A2. And then I'm going to do one common thread on this video is to always leave the last one empty. So go A2 colon A, close parenthesis, and now I have all of them. So if I start writing here M, now I have page marks and Mark Russell. And if I write a new one, so this will be Robert Franklin. And if I go to my AUX, now I have Robert Franklin. And here I'll start writing down here. R, so I have Mark Ronson, Robert Franklin. I'll write F and I have Franklin. And if I had something with F, FR, for example, Francis Coppola, and I start writing F and then R, I have both Francis, but A and both Francis. But if I go with the C, it just goes with the Francis Coppola. And the nice thing is when I have various options, I got selected, I could select them as if it were a dropdown. So it is a dropdown disguised as an autocomplete. You, you wouldn't know this is a dropdown until you start writing things. So this is the cool thing. So this is it. I think it's, I use it a lot. It's really helpful to dynamically populate a list. And then this list will be the input for a dropdown, a kind of a dropdown that helps me review the past entries. So here I only have six, but what happens when you have a list of a hundred? 200. You don't remember if you wrote page marks on before. So it would be really, really cool if you start writing PA and then you have, ah, yeah, I already wrote page marks on and it was with a K and not with a C, whatever. So then I write, then I select it and that's it. That was it. Very simple, very useful, a bit of a tricky situation because you need to do a lot of advanced options in the drop down. But if you think about it, it's not that complicated. I hope you liked it and I didn't give a name to this. 
So how to complete. So I hope you liked it. If you did like it, you can subscribe to the channel where each week you'll have a new video, Google Sheets, Google Forms, Google Apps Script. And if you want to support me even more, you can go to the Patreon page where you can download these and more than 100 templates that we got over there and you can ask me any question. Thanks to my Patreons because this is not possible without them. See you next time.